most mines closed over 100 years ago, there's still a, a fair amount of pollution caused by them. And so the aim of the project is to reduce the impact from those mines for the benefit of the environment as well as the economy. At the Gary Gill site, the material that came out of the mines and from the dressing floor was dumped next to the river and formed a large spoil heap uh, with very steeply sloping sides and through the middle of this is a culvert. Over the years that sort of eroded and more and more of the material sort of slipping into the watercourse, obviously into the pollution. So to address this issue, uh, we decided to connect the two sections of culvert together and isolate them from the watercourse. This would allow us then to regrade the slopes into a safe angle and sort of maintain them for the future and prevent further diffuse pollution into the watercourse. Some of the challenges, it's the location. It's, you know, it's up in the North Pennines, quite high up. The site itself is very difficult to get to, so the initial part of the works all had to be done by a crane. So as a man riding crane, people were craned into the site. Some of the other challenges, the site is obviously, as you can see, it's a very sort of a beautiful part of the world, so it's got high visual amenity. It's also, uh, there's several designations on the site. It's a scheduled ancient monument, so we have to get consent from Historic England for the works. So these are sort of the challenges we have to deal with. By reducing the metal content from the rivers, we would hope to improve the sort of numbers of fish and aquatic life in the ecosystem. It's about making a lot of small changes that will add up to a big impact. And we could be talking tens of kilometres of river cleaned up as a result of the works. Once the, the pipe was in, we were then able to sort of regrade the slopes and get better access to finalise the works, providing the slope stability uh, and the head wall as well. It's almost at the next chapter in the mining history of things and I'm, I'm quite proud to be a part of that and it, it's really starting to write that story now and, and put things in place. Mm -hmm.